Hello, I'm PDYX. And I'm Ant Keeps Gaming, and welcome to Playing It Wrong, the show where we play random online Nintendo games and talk about them. That's right, each episode we're going to take one random NES game and one random SNES game from the games available on the NSO service on the Nintendo Switch, and we're going to play them for at least 30 minutes each and talk about our opinions of those games. Playing It Wrong, episode 15. All right, this is episode 15, and this week we played Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link for the NES, and Super Mario All-Stars for the SNES. All right, interesting week. Uh, Ant, what did you think about the week overall, big picture? What, what, how did this feel? I think it was good. I think it was good this week. Just good. Just good. Just better than okay, so which is good. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. This is better than okay. <laughs> yeah, um, I agree. This is like, a, I feel like this is a really weird week. Um, well, I just think Super Mario All-Stars is kind of a weird game to have come up on this. Uh, <laughs> namely, more so than Zelda 2. But um, this also, I just feel like these two games being paired up is going to is really going to kind of talk about like because essentially, even though it's a Super Nintendo game, all the games in that Super Mario All-Stars package are NES games. And so that's kind of weird. Hmm. And then it's like kind of like, are how do the Zelda and Mario NES games hold up and kind of comparing them to each other is where I feel like. <laughs> we're gonna be talking a little bit <laughs> yeah but um we'll get into that closer to the end maybe let's just start with the nes game let's start with zelda 2 the adventure of link uh i guess first up how much time did you spend with this game how far did you get have you played it before ever i uh, never played that zelda before i've seen clips here and there about it so i know kind of about it but not too much um if it gives you it gives you guys an idea I didn't know how to pick up items until the very end of my playthrough. I played of it. Mm. Um, very confusing the controls, some of it, and some of the like, enemies were a bit confusing. I think um, yep. this is where the. I think it was a bit okay overall, but yeah, it was very confusing um, for me anyway. But it's never played, especially this game, because it's kind of different to the first Zelda, because I've played a bit of the first Zelda. Yeah, it is different. Um, but yeah, because this is kind of like top down, like a map. But then you and then side scrolling, yeah. Then side scroll, <laughs> which is very weird. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Uh, yeah, I guess we should say this game came out in like eighty seven, eighty eight, depending on the region. And yeah, I mean, I agree with your general assessment. I, how far do you think that you got, or how much time do you think you sunk into it? I got to the horsey warrior, so I don't know how far that is. <laughs> do you know how about how much time that took you? I, I've just over half hour. Okay, to do everything, but I re. I use the rewind feature like a lot. Yeah. Like a heck of a lot on there. And uh, yeah, because like it was so like hard, like the timing of attacks and, mm -hmm. you know, what enemies do what and react to what you do, if that makes any sense. Yeah. I, I'll i be honest, I, I didn't spend that much time with this. I When the uh, NSO, when they first launched the NES games, I, I played this one a little bit. Um. And I don't think I ever played, I, I'd never played this back in the day. Uh, I don't really even remember being at friends' houses and playing it much. I've definitely, like you said, seen clips and stuff. So like I played it some when the, a while back and then, but this time around, I probably only played for like 10 minutes and was just <laughs> like, eh, this is not fun. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it it's interesting, but not fun. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting. It's the, it's, you know. And that's where I think getting into that idea of like, do the Zelda NES games hold up compared to the Mario NES games, which we'll, you know, say later, but like, I don't feel like it's really a lot of fun to go back to this or the, or Zelda, the first Zelda game on mm. the NES. I think, I mean, again, it's a new experience for myself. Yeah. Again, never grew up with these games. Right. And hence why it's quite good that you asked me to play this with you. Cause a guy that has <laughs> complete, no knowledge of like NES or SNES games really to, to play these games for the first time. <laughs> yeah. It hasn't come up in our random miser yet. Right. No. But like it very well could the legend of Zelda, a link to the past, the, the super Nintendo game, like that game, 
I think holds up. Uh, you know, everybody's going to feel differently. And some people might think these NES Zelda games are still worth playing. But I kind of feel like if you want to play an old Zelda game, that that's where you should go and not this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, how I saw the Zelda game um, was like more of a Game Boy game. I know you could have it on Game Boy as well. I think I would rather play it on like a handheld, maybe, yeah. than an actual console console. But that's yeah. just me. I think it's just hard and like, I don't know. It doesn't, it's not like the, it's not like the graphics are super great and you know what I mean? I don't, I just don't personally feel like, I, I feel like I'm being really down on it. Obviously it was a big game and it, you know, it has a um, hammer bro clone in it. <laughs> that looks like a demon from doom throwing like spinny maces at you. That's the only way to describe it as. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, it's it's okay, I guess, but I just personally kind of, like, didn't feel like I could sit there and, and, and get through much of it this time around. I think, um, as we said before, uh, many times, this is like a game where I think you c- could enjoy it if you stuck with it, if you used a rewind feature, mm-hmm. and if you just want to experience it. Like, for me, yeah. I just wanted to experience it, use the rewind feature, not kind of not taking it very seriously. So, right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what what else is there to say about it? Like, I think we've covered, I mean, maybe it's just some of the gameplay, like you're on this sort of top-down world map, and then there's almost like random encounters. Yeah, Pokemon, like Pokemon <laughs> It reminds me of Pokemon again. There's gets some RPG elements. Like, yeah, there's sort of this random encounters, but then it goes into a side scrolling mode. And then when a when an enemy hits you and it's sort of, it's sort of like an action side scroller then, but like you can also just leave. <laughs> yeah, just run away. <laughs> Which is fine. I don't know, but like yeah, and like you kind of said, like the timing of, of your like attacks can be a little bit weird. And you can auto guard when you- there was a guard thing that i didn't know about (laughs) yeah and then there's kind of like you know you go to different i don't know like towns or dungeons and like you know there's sort of a an order like you have to go get the um oh what is it a torch to like go into the dark areas and stuff like that yeah i I kind of blitzed through that i couldn't find the candle (laughs) so i just just ran through the candle that's yeah so uh i don't know like Again, it just feels like it's it kind of maybe laid the groundwork for a lot of cool ideas that maybe later games really uh, perfected, if you will, mm. or made better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what else there is to say about it. I mean, like, it's obviously an important seminal game, you know, to, to some people. <laughs> To some, to some people. <laughs> but again, I really do feel like where Zelda really like found its legs and, and it's worth going back to is um uh the 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 Super Nintendo one, um a link to the past. But we'll see <laughs> what you think. <laughs> but I don't know, is there anything else you want to make sure you say specifically about? I met I am error, so I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was like a like something. I saw the clip of that like I am error, but I couldn't remember the backstory of that. But I I met I am error. I'm happy. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. <laughs> uh, yeah, the error character. I guess that's their name. Um, Very confusing. <laughs> oh, just even quickly, just that even going into like people's houses, um, like <laughs> you just randomly walk into people's houses, but you have to wait till the door opens. Sometimes, sometimes you can, mm. but sometimes you have to wait till the door opens for the characters to come out to actually go in the house to speak to like a wise old man or wizard to give you a certain power up as yeah. well, which I which I found confusing to use. Like there was a shield one, which I guess lessens damage, I suppose, and it's like a super jump sort of thing. Very confusing <laughs> with that as well. But there's also, so it really like, got me confused. It's where you talk to some woman in the village and they'll say, mm-hmm. oh, come inside and I'll restore your health. Why do mm-hmm. I need to go inside this woman's house? Why can't she recover my health <laughs> outside the house? I'd have to go yeah. inside. A bit weird. That's, but go. Yeah. And like, or like, you know, come buy something in here. Yeah. Same sort of thing. Um, <laughs> like, also, just the text, the dialogue, when you talk to somebody, it's so slow. Yeah. 
<laughs> and if you like try to get it to speed up, just like in modern games, you yes. exit it and then you have to start it over. Mm. It's you know what I mean? Like if you, you're like, oh, I'm going to mash A to make this. It doesn't work like that. It's yeah. almost like you're backing out then and then you have to talk to them again if you want to actually hear what they say. Yeah, no, I did that a few times. I was trying to hear what they're saying. I was like trying to skip this, like make it faster. But at the end, I just backed out the whole conversation. <laughs> yeah that's i don't want to talk to you <laughs> yeah then you just give up that's kind of where it's like you know what i'm done talking to these every i'm not going to talk to every villager this is stupid <laughs> <laughs> so yeah there's just definitely some clunkiness but um you know you can't fault it for being just like a lot of these games early uh early game with this Zelda game they tried to experiment with something different to see if it would work mm -hmm. i think and depending on who you are and if you played it as a kid i suppose nostalgia it did work or it didn't so, <laughs> so <laughs> it missed yeah yeah it's definitely unique in that side scrolling way i mean you know there's some side scrolling elements in other zelda games but not a lot and obviously like that's like playing as link and mario maker and stuff uh yeah. feels kind of like it too but yeah well unless there's anything else we should move on then yeah, let's do it. I think it will again kind of come back up um, at the end here. But the Super Nintendo game we had this week was Super Mario All Stars, which is a uh, 1993 game that's a collection of all of the NES Super Mario games. So it's got the original Super Mario Brothers from 1985, Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels, which is like Super Mario Brothers 2 in Japan. Super Mario Brothers 2 or Super Mario Brothers USA, as it's sometimes known, um, and then Super Mario Brothers 3. Um, so it's got these four Mario games, but it's like they're all kind of uh, like they have a graphical upgrade to make them look 16 bit. I, I said in my video, I said remastered. <laughs> I said <they're> remastered. Yeah. <laughs> I. I think they like remade them, honestly, because my understanding is that even though they're like they're one for one remakes with slightly better graphics. So like the physics are very similar, but there are some slight differences. You know what I mean? So I know that like they're kind of their own like speed running category or whatever, you know, um, some very, very minor differences because of that. As a kid, I had this on the Super Nintendo and um, I played the heck out of it, you know, mm. So I also didn't spend a lot of time on it this week. I just kind of fired it up, played a tiny bit of each of the games. What about you? How did you, what did you, how much time did you spend? Which games did you play? Well, at first, I'm, I'm going to tell you the whole story with the whole thing. Yeah. So um, the podcast I was on with you guys, the very first one, um, uh -huh. when we talked about the 3D collection um, coming to Switch, which we now is real, no, now know it's real. I actually yeah. didn't know there was a collection. I actually said on that podcast, <laughs> is it, is there a, um, like Mario collection game for the old school Marios? And that's when you guys told uh -huh. me, oh yeah, it's this, you know, Mario All Stars. I was like, oh, okay. So I look stupid. This is how much I played Nintendo back in the day. No, <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> can't know everything. Yeah. And then, and then the other thing that shocked me, as, as we just talked about, is the, like, well, remake you know of these games or it, you said remade from the ground up probably um i believe that's true i i'm not a hundred percent sure that's what uh i am seeing in wikipedia and it's also my understanding that there are some like slightly different game physics yeah and, and that shocked me because i actually thought it was the original plus the other games i did not know that all of them had a had had a makeover so I was quite shocked <laughs> when I played it and oh. yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't waiting for this, but that's, I thought this game did carry this week, especially Zelda. It made up for it kind of in a way. And I played near enough 40 minutes. So I tried to do like 10 minutes per game. Oh, wow. So, cause I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the collection. I thought yeah. the graphics were nice. Uh, I thought it played very well. Um, yeah. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. I had a really good time with this. I could have actually played them all if I wanted to. <laughs> as a streamer. Totally. That's mm. that's like, uh, that's where I was like, and we, I'm, I keep saying it, so I'll just save it for the end. <laughs> but like, it's really weird to play this compared to the Zelda game because I feel like the same way, right? Like, I, I was like, you know, I played so much of this as a kid. I'll just fire it up. But like, it's easy. And especially like, I, I love this version of Super Mario bros 2 or super mario bros usa depending on what you want to call it like mm. the the doki doki panic uh remake or whatever um 
I just, it looks so, so nice. Like, um, you know, I, it's weird. Like the original super Mario brothers, I feel like I've seen and played so much and the original art for the NES. Isn't like great, obviously, cause it's eight bit, but it's <laughs> yeah. like so iconic, um, that when you see the slight upgrade on that, it, it feels a little weird, Yeah, <laughs> but it, for for some reason for Super Mario Brothers two and to a lesser degree for three and um and definitely for the lost levels because I never saw that originally like it works a little bit better for me on all those but even three feels a little weird because I've played so much of the NES one but anyway I guess I'm just saying that like these games hold up <laughs> and like you you know what I mean like and having them slightly all in this one package it's just weird like because they're already on the nso service already separately you know <laughs> with the older graphics it's just a weird situation to have this game come up in this list because it's like what do we talk about here which game <laughs> i don't know <laughs> they're all great games and like this is where the lost levels was introduced to at least the united states i don't know how that worked with europe um maybe you know maybe you don't know but like i don't know <laughs> Yeah, I, I suspect that it also like never came out in Europe till now, but I don't know that um, for for sure. Um, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking it up right now and it looks like it never sort of the same situation. Um, so like I spent a lot of time as a kid playing the Lost Levels because, you know, that was sort of the newest thing on this package. Um, and, and it's cool to have that. I don't know. It's It's a great it was a great thing when I was a kid and it's here now on the switch. If you want to, if you want to check it out and I don't know why, but for me, super Mario brothers two really looks great. <laughs> I like that one on this. <laughs> I think um, another reason why I liked it so much is I played a lot of Mario maker. I like on my channel and mm. stuff um, mm -hmm. when Mario maker and in Mario maker two came out, a lot of Mario maker. <laughs> I think yeah. that's my, my old channel. Um, I'm not going to it, but they, they started my old channel. Like uh, Mario maker took off completely and I think that's why I enjoyed it so much because I enjoyed Mario Maker so much because I yeah. got so many Mario Maker vibes from this and obviously because it's Mario anyway, but, you right. know, uh, just the memories from it as well. Yeah, yeah. And that's also what's kind of weird about how Mario Maker uses the original 8-bit graphics, right? So, like, you go yeah. back to this game and it just makes... Mar it just makes super Mario brothers and super Mario bros three feel even more off. And I think that's also why super Mario brothers two doesn't feel as off with the upgraded graphics. Cause it's not in Mario maker, you know, yeah. uh, except for a little bit now, but um, anyway, yeah, they're, these are great games that are repackaged here in a different way for you to play with slightly better graphics. I don't know. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't have a whole lot. I don't know enough about like the slight <laughs> physics differences. And I think for your average person, it doesn't matter. Mm. I mean, I don't know what else to say about this. I mean, uh, I mean, I played it and I enjoyed it. I just <laughs> don't know what else to say with it. Yeah. Well, it's like, cause there's four games here. What are we talking about? <laughs> like, yeah. And they're iconic, amazing games, right? Like, um, that define Mario, uh, and a whole, you know, um, I just think that's where it was interesting to me. And this is kind of jumping towards the end. If there's nothing else specific about this, that like these NES Mario games hold up and are fun and can draw you in, but the NES Zelda games feel clunky and hard. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? And the, yeah. and the graphics and the, like, obviously these are updated graphics, but even the graphics in the original NES Mario games feel okay, but the graphics in the NES Zelda games don't. And I don't know why that is. Maybe just, you know, what we're used to, like it's in Mario Maker, it's so visual, and but I really, it's just an interesting dynamic to play these games side by side. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a rivalry between Zelda and Mario yeah like you know continued on even to like like uh this day and age with the switch because wasn't like the switch launched with a zelda game and no other consoles done that nintendo yeah console. that that might be right yeah so <laughs> yeah that's true well i mean they're two of the biggest franchises and and i think like you know we're seeing what they were built on and and like what parts of them you know stuck around and what parts of them were improved. And I think, you know, the Mario formula 
starting with super mario brothers was already really solid and they didn't have to like change it a lot but with zelda they have had to update it and tweak it to make it you know what i mean like platformers haven't changed that much but adventure role-playing type games have years of perfection (laughs) that's what you can say (laughs) yeah well um i don't know is it is there anything else specifically about the super mario all-stars or or um comparing them you want to say uh, i mean there's not, i can't think of anything i mean i think with Marriott all stars i was just playing it i didn't really think about it if that makes sense yeah uh, I, not not saying a bad way just like it's uh it, it's just a Mario game <laughs> just don't know what yeah to say it's the standard formula also what's weird is like all four of those games Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario Brothers Last Le- Lost Levels are still on our to be picked list. <laughs> and it's a very, you know, as this list goes gets smaller and smaller in number, uh it's an increasing all the good chance that over one of the next few weeks we'll have to play it. Like and <laughs> don't so it's like it. I Next well, week. yeah, and it's like I don't want to like go into great detail about each game right now because we might have to do that. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to think about holistically as this collection, um, rather than like the finer details of any of these games. So, um, but but like, uh, well, we always like to give sort of a recommendation for each game and for you know for these games. Do you want to move on to that? Yeah, I mean, like as I said before. All Stars carried Zelda 2 yeah. uh, this week. I mean, I said I played an okay game first. It was like, uh, yeah, sort of like, uh, like literally just plodding along with it. Where All Stars, you're like, it, it kind of picked it up, kind of like, mm-hmm. you know, like, oh, there is good games still out <laughs> out there <laughs> online, <laughs> and we're one of them. And it was true. I said I had fun playing Mario, Mario All Stars. I don't know if it was just the graphics being updated or something. I have no idea. But I was, as I said, shocked first time playing this because I actually thought it was the original NES Mario. Just, you know, uh, yeah. Mario Bros or Super Mario Bros. Don't hate me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> For the name. Don't come after me. Um, and and I was shocked in that. And I was shocked that there was a collection even before that. And I was shocked on how good it was. And I said before, I could actually probably do like a live stream of these games like on my channel because I enjoyed it. You know, it wasn't super hard. It wasn't super easy. It was just like medium Mario, medium Mario. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I generally, I agree, right? Like I think, you know, it's Zelda two is kind of a, uh, I only recommend it if you're really interested in the history of Zelda. Yeah. The law side. Yeah. Or you're like, okay with really, tough frustrating nes games and you know what you're getting into but like generally i would say eh, maybe skip it uh aside from that but man you gotta play all these mario games and if you want to yeah. play them um, with slightly better or different graphics this is a great way to do it <laughs> or to be able to jump between them quickly not that it's yeah. that hard on the other app <laughs> either though yeah. like so i don't know it's just a weird weird week mm. but recommend recommend definitely the mario games and um of course and- I would say an okay recommendation for Zelda, as you said, for lore. So, yeah. And the Mario Collection, I'd say a good recommendation. I recommend it. I, I actually really enjoyed it. So. Yeah. Well, and I mean, what do you think? Should we, should we pick our next games? Let's do it. Okay. You give us our countdown then. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's play it wrong. All right, and I cursed us. <laughs> I... <laughs> I think we have to do it though. Don't it's don't we? Do... Wrong. <laughs> it's wrong. Uh, this is weird, but um, so <laughs> Super Mario <laughs> Brothers two for the NES. Super Mario Brothers two. So I'm glad we didn't talk in detail about it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're saving That's it for safe. next week and then tough enough okay for the super nintendo have you ever heard of tough enough the only tough enough i heard about was something to do with wwe or wwf that's it that's i'm not <laughs> sure what this is i'm gonna look it up i think it might be uh oops i did the wrong thing i think it might be another 
uh like uh what do you call them like one of those final fight streets of rage clone <laughs> yeah but it might be a fighting game instead oh i think this is a fighting game it's a, it's a street fighter clone not a streets of rage clone ah yeah I was I oh saw, boy. I see the cover of this. It looks like All Might a little bit from that anime. I don't know the anime, but it looks like All Might. I know the, that character. But <laughs> if anybody knows it. Uh, so this should be interesting. Um, this time, Ant, I really want us to play against each other. Um, oh, okay. So we we got to make that happen. We got to make that happen. Um, if we can. I think we can. Um, all right. Yeah. So highs jinxed us. Um, <laughs> total jinx. I definitely like wasn't sure if we should even keep those in or not, but I think, like you said, it's the spirit of random <laughs> here. <laughs> and also, we didn't like really get into the specifics of Super Mario Brothers two, so we have that to look forward to next week. <laughs> <laughs> Medium Mario. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Next week we'll be back talking about Super Mario Brothers two and Tough Enough. Can't wait. Thanks for listening to Playing It Wrong. This podcast is a collaboration between Super Switch Heads and Ant Keeps Gaming. Check out the weekly Super Switch Heads podcast, and also check out Ant Keeps Gaming on YouTube. Our music is provided by Bent Neatly. Thanks again. Bye.